Would you believe it if I told you that airplanes could be powered by batteries? Well, at NASA, we're very interested in batteries, and we want to use them in new ways, like in aeronautics. Aeronautics is the first A in NASA and the science of flight. One of our latest projects is a battery-powered X-plane. It's called the X57 Maxwell, and it uses lithium-ion batteries. Lithium-ion batteries are the same kind of batteries that are in smartphones. NASA scientists researched many different kinds of batteries and many different arrangements of batteries to find a combination with enough long-lasting power. Now, there are many different kinds of batteries, but they all share one thing in common. They all convert chemical energy to electrical energy. Today, we're going to learn more about how batteries work by making our own battery. Let's get started. Fill a plastic mixing cup with a cup of water. Add four tablespoons of salt and stir until dissolved. Add two tablespoons of vinegar and then stir until well mixed. Cut the cardboard into four squares approximately a half an inch on each side. Soak them thoroughly in the salt water solution. Once they're fully soaked, take them out and set them on the paper towel. They will need to be damp but not dripping with liquid. Give each group a stack of five pennies. Have the student sand off the copper from one side of four of the pennies until all that is seen is the silver-colored zinc. Remind students to do this carefully so they don't hurt their fingers. The goal is to have four pennies that are copper on one side and zinc on the other, and a fifth penny that is copper on both sides. Start assembling the battery. Set a sanded penny copper side down, and then place a piece of damp cardboard on top of it. Repeat until all that is left is the unsanded penny. Place it on top of the stack. Students will have a stack of pennies and damp cardboard with all copper sides facing down, all zinc sides facing up, except for the top penny which will have copper on both sides. No pennies should be touching and no damp cardboard should be touching. Next, students will test their batteries. Pick up the red LED and look at the wires coming out of it. One wire is longer than the other. Touch the longer lead to the top of the penny stack and the shorter lead to the bottom of the penny stack. The LED should light up. If it doesn't, make sure all pennies are facing in the correct direction but not touching each other and that the cardboard squares are damp but not dripping. Then try again. When the LED lights up, the battery is working. Sometimes it takes a few minutes to reach maximum output. To measure the battery's output, take the voltmeter and touch the leads to the top and bottom of the coin battery. Record the measurement. Then use the electrical tape to attach the LED to the battery. Students can watch as the light gets fainter over time as the cardboard dries out. Take a second measurement if the LED is still glowing after one day. To recharge the battery, simply soak the cardboard squares in the solution again and put the battery back together. If you'd like to try some variations on this activity, make a battery with more than five pennies. Make a solution using other liquids like lemon-lime soft drink or mild hydrochloric acid. Since blue LEDs require more electricity to light up, Try making a battery that will light up a blue LED. You're now a fully fledged battery engineer. Great job. The great aviation transformation has begun.